Up until now in our application, we've been flashing data to the session and we're supposed to use this data to send notifications to our user once they complete an action. For example, if we check in our profiles controller, once we updated the profile of the user, we actually flashed a success message to the session. So in this video, we're actually using a package called Noti to flash this data to the user as soon as an action is completed. So this is the homepage for the Noti flasher and uh, here installing it needs npm. So we're just going to run a command npm install and we install Noti. Next I'll install everything that is placed in my package.json file. So I'll say npm install and finally I'll install gob so that I can use Lavos Elixir. Now if we head over to our gob file, the JS, where Laravel Elixir is config configured, we discover that the default task that come with the Laravel Elixir is actually compiling SAS and compiling our app.js with Webpack. So we're going to remove the SAS, we don't need it in this video. And the app.js that is being compiled here with by Webpack is located in our resources, assets, JS, and right here we have an app.js file and this file is requiring bootstrap and the bootstrap.js file is requiring is right here and in this bootstrap file we are loading lodash we are loading bootstrap and we are loading jquery so right here we are just going to require the noti package that we just installed so require noti and we'll save that now as soon as this file is compiled by webpack it's automatically saved into our public directory so public js app.js and if we check in our app.blade.php which is our layouts file we discover that we are requiring in the app.js file so what we're going to do is actually compile go up again so that we'll be have we'll have a fresh copy of the app.js file in the in the public directory so that we'll be able to use our notification so go okay so that's compiled so that completes the installation of our noti package right now how do we use this noti package to flash our sessions to the user we'll come right to our app.blade.php and the first thing we're gonna do is open some script tags then we're gonna check if the session has any data so if session has and we'll first of all check if the data is assigned to the success so if session has success and if what we're going to do is actually just call the noti method. So noti. And the first thing we're going to predefine here is the type. And this is going to be success. The next thing is the layout. And I'll just go ahead and say top. The last thing that we'll define here is the message and all of this data that I'm defining is right here in the notifications package. So these are the defaults. So we have a layout, we have a type, we have the text that we have to assign can be HTML or string. So right here, we're just going to assign it to a string. So text is going to be a string and this string would be equals to the data that we get from the session. So right here, we're going to echo session get success okay so if there is a data stored in the stored in the session called success we're gonna trigger a not the noti method and this is going to display a notification of type success at the top and the text in that is going to be the text that we saved in our socks in our session when we flashed it so in our profiles controller right here we're flashing to the session as success and this is the information that we saved in the session okay so let's go ahead and try this out by updating our profile so if i head over to my profile and i click edit your profile and i just change this to maybe south africa for example and save information okay so there is our notification profile updated so it notifies at the top you might want to configure this in another way for example changing the layout it might be top right or top center or however we want it to be so I'll just go ahead and stick with bottom left so I'll just change this to bottom left if I go ahead and refresh and uh, maybe change whatever thing I want to change all of this and save my information now it's notifying at the bottom left corner